Good afternoon. Um, for those who came back to see my video, thank you very much. Uh, for new people, uh, welcome. I hope you like it. I hope you will like uh, my channel and come back. Um, today I'm coming to you with my first ever video, monthly favorites. I mean, first ever monthly favorites video. It's not my first ever video. Uh, so I love to watch those videos. I get great ideas from those videos. Um, a lot of stuff I purchased over the months. Um, I saw first time on those videos. So it's not going to be just luxury items. It's, it's basically going to be everything what I enjoy uh, in January and uh, what I discovered in January and what I want the most. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start uh, with uh, best perfume ever, <laughs> which is not best perfume ever, but one of the best perfumes. It's Tom Ford, of course, and it's called Jasmine Rouge. Uh, let me show you. Um, only I, 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 I'm really bad with describing perfumes, scents, so I always just suggest to go in the department store and smell it. Uh, but uh, I have one word which describes this perfume. It's sexy. <laughs> love, love the smell. I don't know if you can tell, but the packaging is red. And... Uh, it's just an amazing, amazing um, scent. My husband loves it a lot. I love it. And my husband is very picky with scents. Um, I mean, I have to be even careful uh, to burn scent candle uh, with him. So, oh my God, it's just, I mean, a lot of Tom, Tom Ford perfumes are amazing, but this is like, this is one of the most amazing scents highly recommend um they came in this packaging and again it's called uh jasmine rouge highly highly recommend but again send this very personal thing uh, it could be good for somebody somebody can hate it so obviously i never buy perfume just by review i always have to smell it and either like it or not by the way, I, I learned about this perfume from another YouTuber uh, and I just went and tried it and I bought it on the spot. Okay, next. My next favorite is this. Uh, so Chanel hand cream. I love this packaging because I never like those two packaging because you have to squeeze, they bulk you, they they sometimes they spill up. It's it's ridiculous. This package packaging was uh, invented for me. <laughs> so first I saw this. It comes in two different creams: heavier cream and more lighter cream for hands. I have very dry hands. Um, do I run through this um, fast? I don't say that because I use it only when I take it with me and I go somewhere because it fits nicely in my purse. At home, I use my big pumps. So that's why I don't go through, it's my first one and I still have some in there. Um, and um, after I learned about this packaging, I found this EOS in a, in a drugstore. So, also good. So if you, it's, this is pretty pricey. So if you don't want to spend money on uh, like 60 bucks, I think on hand cream, just spend five or seven on this one. Packaging is amazing. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Now, uh, another thing. I discovered on YouTube, MAC Prep and Primer. 
oh my god because before every time i put foundation on my face doesn't matter what foundation i tried all foundation it goes on very like hard like i cannot blend it very well i have to spend a lot of time on blending it um this is savior you just spray your face with this then you pay, uh, put a uh, foundation on and just dab it and it blends in in your uh your wrinkles don't show with this uh, it doesn't cake up and anything and highly recommend it and it's just pleasant so I like it so much that I bought the travel size so I have small one and big one big one it's stationary in my bathroom this one I carry around when I need to if I go away for a week and I'll go away okay again it's MAC prep and prime I don't know if you can see highly highly recommend again it probably depends on the skin type but I, I i think it's for any skin type i'm not i'm not a big uh makeup expert but this makes my life easier now let's move on Another thing I discovered on YouTube and I wanted to share it with you and this is the best thing ever. You might be surprised. This is Dyson cordless vacuum. You wanna see how light it is? Look how I'm holding it. That's how light it is. And this is savior because First of all, aside that it cleans very well, aside of that, it's um, very light, it's cordless. So we have two stories in the house. And um, it always for me was a struggle to drag the vacuum upstairs and clean it in the bedroom. And I have white rug, which gets dirty, white, white uh, rug in the bedroom, which gets gets dirty very fast so so this is basically the best thing ever and uh i clean my closet with it i clean my bedroom with it i keep it on uh second floor if i need to i can bring it anyway it's, it's that so right and, yes and um only one floor which i don't consider that a floor when fully charged on the highest setting, it lasts about 30 minutes. Then you have to recharge it again. But since I mainly keep it for my bedroom and second floor, it takes me less than 30 minutes to vacuum the place. And then I just plug it in and it always sits on the charger. I can, I'm, I don't like to clean, actually wrong. I like to clean, but I'm not good at cleaning. That's why I watch a lot of cleaning videos on YouTube. And um, I don't remember who featured it on their uh, blog, but then I found another video on YouTube. Uh, I think it's called Vacuum Doctor. And it was reviews about this um, uh, vacuum. And uh, I, I knew what I was getting and I was the best reviews were very helpful the demonstrations they, they had a the demonstration this this makes my life cleaner and easier very 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 good thing look how, how look how light it is and I have walking closet and to clean that closet is a pain in the ass sorry can I say that and uh, it has multiple attachments. You can you can clean your drawers, the special attachment, without taking everything out. You can, uh, well, maybe you shouldn't be cleaning where you keep your light stuff because it's gonna get sucked in. But um, I clean shoe rack. I clean uh, everything. You can clean everything with this uh, um, special attachment. It comes with like five attachments or something highly recommend if somebody didn't search for a vacuum highly recommend to check it out it is pricey it's 
about five hundred dollars. It is pricey. Uh, there are lower, cheaper versions and high, um, more expensive versions. Uh, check it out. Oops. <laughs> Next, uh, I didn't do unboxing on this item, but it's something I bought very recently, and uh, it's SLG and everybody on youtube has it of course i got influenced and i went to check it out but i'm so glad i got it love 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 this is Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet amazing so it has compartment for the bills which i don't use much i use them all for receipts um has a compartment here, has compartment here, credit card slots, and that zipped pouch. Okay, so I the, unlike I unlike, unlike other people, I have few usually few wallets. I, I carry few, usually few wallets the same time for different purposes i don't mind it and uh, let me explain you this leads me to my two another favorite items which are this ketogram lv pouch and this ketogram small uh, lv pouch so that's what i do this is my constant wallet what i have here my debit card, my credit card, I was able to start cash in it, insurance card and driver license. So, I, I always keep it there. I do not keep it here on, on any other wallet. This usually stays all the time. Or if I'm using my uh, Chanel card holder, the same uh, items stay in Chanel car card holder. But since in January, I'm using this messed up. That's why I'm showing you this. So when I have to just run out all out of the house to, and I don't need the rest of my cards, I just grab this and uh, I just run out. So in this case, I don't have to switch my main items from wallet to wallet. I switch this, but I stay with this. So usually that's what in my purse sometimes just this it depends if i go to the mall i grab this if i just know i'm going to grocery store or just i need driving license i grab this this i use for uh, coupons look how many i have they're all in one place so again when i go to the mall i grab this as well so that's what usually sits in my purse. Since it's they are separate and they are not in one huge wallet, you have more flexibility uh, without changing wallets and putting one stuff to another, uh, even fitting in the purse, you know? If I have small purse, I just take this. Uh, if I have medium purse, if purse is large enough, I take all three. I know it's not for everybody. I know it's not for everybody, but this works for me. I know what is where, and I don't have to dig through the wallet to dig out my driver license, and wallet doesn't get filled up. By the way, you know what happened with this one? Once I had to take a lot of cash from the bank, and I all stuck it here. It was probably this much because I need small bills. So this part got wrinkled. You probably still can see faint wrinkle on this. It kind of fades away, things got. But I do not like overstuff my wallets. So that's why I prefer this system. And I know a lot of people who just like to carry around giant wallet uh and like just to change everything out of the wallet to new wallet like 
it on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. I don't like to do that. So that's so this is another my favorite item which I've been using in January, month of January, non-stop. And all that all my coupons are here. I don't have to run around and find the coupons. I always whenever I go to shop, I check if I have coupon for um, the particular store. Helps me. This way I'm more organized. Okay. Now next item is this bag. You know, I bought a lot of new bags recently. This I am using the most in. This is bag of the month, of month of January. And look what I got along with Victorine wallet. This is the bag charm, pig, little piggy. And um, as you know, it's a year of pig. So I decided to purchase a side that is very cute. It's kind of means something for this year. So that's what hangs on my um, chat mitis. Love, love this bag. No more problems so far. Very comfortable. And I'm enjoying it very, very much. Uh, and honestly, so far, I'm probably going to go into the February <laughs> wearing this. Okay, so next item I'm going to show you, it's this felt organizer. It's actually felt storage box, which I got in Ikea. Very, fits a lot. I have my scarves here. You just put it on a shelf. I love it so much, so I decided to share with you. And I ordered actually more. I went and bought more. That's how it comes. It's from Ikea. Did I mention? From Ikea. So instead of... Oh my God, that's shadows. Hey, lighting, lighting. Okay. So those shadows... Uh, uh, just... So let me pull it out from the box. It comes folded like this. And you basically put it together. Uh, very easy. I'm gonna put it right in front of you. Love, love, love. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm not gonna put it in front of you. I don't wanna waste time. But it's like origami kind of so I'm just gonna come up like this and highly recommend for storage because it's very uh, soft it doesn't damage your um, items and it's still structured and uh, pleasant to touch which is very important for me and you just put it on your shelf and you know what's here so I'm probably gonna get even more. We'll see. And um, two more items. One of them is this this sweatshirt. Um, it's uh, I also discovered it on the YouTube. I actually follow her. Uh, one of YouTubers. She actually produces those. Very soft, and I like this Reglan cut, and um, it kind of gives you that logo feel but again like i always wanted to get like gucci sweatshirt or t-shirt but i uh, i feel like it's too out of there too flashy i'm not there yet so this kind of fits the bill and very soft and very cozy um so highly recommend if you're interested um you probably know her she's a pretty famous youtube jen Jen something. If you have questions about this t-shirt, ask me. I don't want to just volunteer the information. I don't want to look like I'm like promoting her or something. But if you're interested, uh, I can uh, tell you where I got it from. And last, my favorite January item 
but not the least, is this CB2 throw blanket. Remember, like, if you watched my um, uh, 2019 wish list, Hermes blanket is there. And I still did not pull, pull, pull the plug on Hermes blanket. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do it anytime soon. But look what I found. It feels very similar. Obviously, it's not Hermes, but, and then it costs, it, the price was $175 in CB2. And it's pure wool. It's, uh, that's the top, if you, okay, it's uh, New Zealand wool, dry click only, made in, where, Lithuania, oh, and so warm, so cozy, so I'm going to settle for this, and colors, they're pretty similar to colors in Hermes blanket I wanted, so. So that's basically it. I think I, I think I, oh, and I want to see that I'm back to my Cartier bracelet. Um, for some reason, I like to wear on left hand. It does not bother me as much as on my right hand. I don't know, maybe because my right hand is working hand. So uh, as you know from my wish list, uh, I would like, like to add white gold bracelet to the stack and um, uh, I was considering getting calf but um, but it kind of then it becomes the thing I like about it is that it's locked on you kind of I like the idea of that you can take it out at the same time that it's kind of not very convenient but at the same time I like that idea but it didn't prevent me to almost losing it once. I didn't know that I was wearing it for a long time and I didn't know that you daily or any other day you have to tie the screws. That's what uh, so, uh, I mean, the person in the Cartier explained me later. Because, because you're moving, because those little by little, those screws get untied. And if you don't uh, don't adjust it for a long time, you may, that was happened to me. So I was dropping my daughter to piano lessons, and I discovered that I'm missing the bracelet. So I went back to the car and found half of it on my seat. I had this on my right hand back then, and um, half of it, and I frantically start searching around could not find it went back to music school i said maybe maybe uh another half somehow fell off there was so upset it's like six thousand dollar breath i was very upset i was searching i was trailing my steps searching everywhere so i didn't find it came back to came back home and decided to look on my driveway and i found it on my driveway Probably, I, I mean, somehow half of it fell off on my driveway, half of it, fell. oh my God, I cannot explain how happy I was to find it. I was so upset. So don't think if you have this, you don't have to adjust the screws. You have to adjust the screws. But I probably didn't, I, I was wearing it nonstop for months and I never did it. So now I'm more careful and, um, so my Cartier bracelet made an appearance. Okay, guys, this is it. Talking about bracelets, I'm planning to do my um, luxury jewelry correction video soon. Items like um, Tiffany, David Urman, uh, Van Cleef, Lynn LaPelle, uh, Chopard. Um, yeah, it's going to be fine jewelry. It's not going to be custom jewelry. So I'm not going to show you guys my custom Chanel jewelry. Um, uh, so that's most likely going to be my next video. And one more item from my wish list about to be checked off. Video will be uh, coming soon. And I actually, I'm actually adding another item on my wish video, wish video 
it's um, LV Bambeck. I like it on people a lot. I don't necessarily like when they wear them here. I like when they wear them literally on the shoulder. So I'm thinking about this too. So that's it. Again, thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to me uh, yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell button so you get notified when I when my videos are up. I am considering um, paying more attention to my Instagram page and posting more stories and more pictures there. So name of an inst on the Instagram is the same at Love Me Some Lux, and uh, you can actually find the link in my bio um, uh, in the channel description um, so we'll be doing more of that and I'm kind of enjoying those vlog types videos other youtubers are posting so I probably will be doing more of those as well maybe I will be taking you to my trips to the mall I'm a little bit shy filming it <laughs> I did it in London, but then uh, I, I mean, like, I'm pretty shy filming. Uh, so let's see how that works. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.